I was Yo, what is good YouTube? Chris Long's back with another video. It's your boy Chris. And you're Felix. And we're back with another video. So today we're gonna be trying to talk about our um experience with our new baby and like a labor and delivery. Labor delivery, um, and kind of like just bits and pieces of the whole process that we that happened. And then we'll introduce her and do a name reveal and show you guys her. So if we're talking a little, a little about that, that might be why. <laughs> but we're gonna jump straight into this. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what you wanna do next. We're gonna insert clips of our labor and delivery experience of when I was in labor because we didn't get to actually record like we wanted to. Yeah, it was just like so much stuff going on. And like, I feel like our minds were everywhere else. And then the times that we did have done, that's when we picked up the camera. Yes, so we did pick up the camera for you guys. It just wasn't long time yeah and it was over 24 hours so it was like yeah i was in labor tired. for 24 hours my labor started at three o'clock in the morning um when we were home i labored for eight hours here at home and we didn't pick up the camera then because one it was three o'clock in the morning and i was up all by myself for about four hours um and it just we I, that was honestly the last thing that we thought about at that moment because I was just in so much pain. He kept telling me, just do it, just do it, just get it. He's like, you're in so much pain, yeah, and I was. She's in like pain crazy, like I've never seen her like that, that was, was weird. Yeah, I was in like a lot of pain. I couldn't, I couldn't sit still, I couldn't. And then it got to the point where I started shaking, and once I started shaking, um, that's when I was like, yeah, no. She's over like I was not <laughs> like that, no. <laughs> It was bad, but it wasn't like that. Yeah, no, man. It just, I could not sit still. Like, I wanted to and lay you down. You cold, huh? No. I was like, are you cold? Do you want like a, like a jacket, a blanket? She's like, I'm not cold. Like, I'm just shaking and I can't stop. Yes. It was like, I, there was not, like, I could not control it. Like, there was nothing. Like, I felt like at first he thought I was like, like, over exaggerating it. In a way, yeah. But it, I wasn't. Like, it was just happening. There was nothing I could do. So once I started shaking, and then that led to me puking and that's when i i was done i had to sit up and i was like shaking like this like it was it was bad yeah it was crazy it was bad it was crazy but once i got that epidural i was the only person yeah she was just talking on her phone watching movies sleep and i was just like yeah i was a whole new person because I, I was like, able to no lay way. down i couldn't feel anything i was so tired and by then it was 11 o'clock I think when I got it what'd you say 10 yeah, or 11 p.m 11, yeah. yeah and then I was able to finally get some sleep so that's when he got some sleep um and then they came in around 3 30 and they wanted to break my water or they were checking to see if my water broke and it didn't so they asked me if they could break my water and I told them yes and then they were like, oh, well, your water's like, it was about to break. I was 10 centimeters, my water was just about to break, and I was ready to push. And mind you, I did. I had no feeling to push, but they said, oh, no, you're ready to push. And he's knocked out. I could not reach him. Obviously, I couldn't get up, and they're over here setting up, talking about they're gonna go with the doctor. And I'm like, well, can, can somebody wake him up, please? Because he knows nothing they're over here telling me all this information and he's knocked out and so i told the nurse i was like on your way out can you please like wake him up tap him give me something to throw at him like just wake him up for me she's like oh yeah and congratulations like you're about to have a baby when she said that that woke him up yeah i was like what he woke up and he looked at me he's like what are they talking about he's like what and i said oh i'm ready to push i feel like that's when i like got real yeah. yeah for sure. and that's when i looked at the time and it was 3 30. they were like oh we'll be back and when we come back like you're ready to push and i was like oh wow and then he he sat up and he like wiped his face and he's sitting there and he's like did they really just say that yeah he's like what just happened he's like what else did they say and then yeah, i pushed for a total of 51 minutes but i wouldn't say it was 51 minutes like consecutively yeah because there was times obviously i'd stop and breathe and then there was a time that i had to stop for them to get the doctor but like, i started pushing at four 
in the morning. I started pushing at 4 in the morning and she was out by 4.51. It was, to me, like since I couldn't feel anything, it was fast. But I know yeah, if, I could have, if I could have felt it, it would have been a whole different story. Yeah. It would have been a whole different story. That would have been crazy. Like, I don't know what she would have did. I feel like if she was tripping earlier, like going through that, I feel like she would have been like going 10 times crazier. Oh yeah, definitely. And the thing is, is that things, like they do things differently here at the hospitals in Germany. Yeah. So I had asked them when we got there, how long do I have till I can get epidural? Like, because I know in the States, in I, normal, not normal, but normal hospitals and doctors and whatever, you can't go past eight centimeters. After eight centimeters, like you cannot get epidural. So I asked them because obviously my plan was not to get it, but I wanted to know. And she told me, she said, as long as you can sit still, you can get it. So she said, if you could sit still at nine centimeters, you can get it at nine centimeters. And they said that, I thought they were crazy though, because I was like, yeah. I was like, what? I was, like, I obviously I'm a first time mom, so like, we didn't know, like, we thought that was insane because like, I didn't know how long it took to kick in. I didn't know if it was instant. Like, I didn't know anything. I just knew it made you like was supposed to make you numb, but that it can't always work. But I was six centimeters at that point, and I was from there just kind of yeah. It's crazy to think now. Like if I was six centimeters at ten or eleven, and it took me till three a.m. So it took me four hours to get to ten. I don't think I could have did another four hours feeling like that. He would have gone crazy. Yeah, cause I was, I was like, what are you, what's going on? Yeah. I was just trying to lay down. It was cause it was late. I was so tired. It was, I just it was a to get long in bed. day. Yeah, I wanted to get in bed. And his bed wasn't even really a bed. It was a pull-out chair. Yeah, it was horrible. Literally a pull-out chair. And like the mattress was so old, it was like pretty much like paper towel thing. It was flat. He goes, Lexi, all I could feel. Are the springs? Yeah, all you feel like the springs in there, and then like the actual metal bed frame. Like that's my back felt. My back was hurting so bad there. But the bed that I was in wasn't all that comfy either. But I mean, it was better than what he had. Yeah, for sure. That second bed that you got though was, was nice. Yeah, after I gave birth, they gave like they switched me beds, and he gave me a postpartum bed, and that bed was nice. It was, it was long. bigger. It was way more comfy. We were able to both lay in it. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah, it was very nice. But I think now we should introduce you to the girl. She was born on February 3rd, 2023 at 4.51 a.m. She was six pounds, 12 and 12.6 ounces and 19 inches long. Now I'll let him show you her. I don't know if move the, the ring light, but this is baby everywhere. Sleep, but that's baby Everly. Baby girl. That's our little mama. Her name is Everly Lynn Turner. I'll put the name here. Be prepared to see more of her videos of all of us. Um, just kind of like our day to day life now as new parents. Um, living overseas. Living overseas. Yeah. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification bell.